Shadow Treasurer. Thank you, sir. I rise today to speak about an issue of growing concern in my community, the condition of our local beaches and coastline. Prior to the 2018 election, I spoke on numerous occasions about the need for a long-term solution for the issue of longshore drift on our northern beaches. From government, we tasked the Environment Department with development of this plan. I stress that the Liberal Party did not put forward the solution. Independent experts and the department staff did. We funded the solution, a three-part approach. Mass replenishment at West Beach, a pipeline to recycle sand that has moved north and is accumulating, and a package of activities to plant out and care for the newly rebuilt dunes. We knew that this issue needed to have immediate action as erosion was moving northwards from West Beach. We needed to provide an ability to get sand to beaches that aren't easily accessible by truck, for example, Henley South and Henley, as the degradation that was being seen at West Beach was moving northwards quickly. Sadly, sir, despite installing a similar pipeline on the southern section of beaches between Glenelg and Kingston Park themselves roughly eight years ago to deal with the northward movement of sand, the Labor Party actively campaigned against a long-term solution to this issue. Shine. Now, the Liberal Party didn't come to government with a predetermined idea of what the solution needed to be. As I said, the experts did the work and significant consultation was undertaken. Planning permissions were sought and construction and operation contracts had been signed. The rebuild and nourishment of West Beach had begun. For those who live or visited West Beach this summer, for the first time in nearly 20 years, there was a high tide, dry beach in front of the surf club. Then the election happened, a Labor government and what has happened since. The large scale fill into West Beach stopped. The pipeline that had sand discharge points into Henley, the construction contract torn up. Instead, we have a minister who has had to declare a conflict of interest, who has had to step away from decision making on the issue, who didn't answer any questions in estimates, but was happy to speak on ABC radio. We now have another review. Multiple reviews have already been conducted on this issue over the past 30 years. And now, nearly four months into the life of this government, it hasn't even started. We don't know what the view review will be considering, if any new options are even being proposed, or, if the time, or even the time frame of when the government plans to do anything above a level of yearly nourishment. And we found out today, over in the other place, that the new minister tasked with responsibility for the coastline has not even met with the department. Before the election, my community had certainty. They had a long-term solution and a fix was literally underway. Instead, now we have delay and we have no action. And on the back of another storm, we have West Beach and now Henley South and Henley Beaches now under threat. With multiple beach access points having to be closed last week, and old infrastructure exposed and the whole dune system through Henley South virtually gone. Our community isn't going to stand by and let the Labor Party delay. To sit and watch our beaches disappear, you can be very sure of that, Mr Speaker. Every bit of science clearly shows that sand from West Beach, from Henley South, from Henley and from Grange moves north. You only have to look at a picture of the semaphore jetty from 30 years ago versus today to draw that conclusion for yourself. Minister, be sensible. We don't mind how it comes back. In fact, we're completely agnostic to that. But if the southern beaches can have a permanent solution, why can't the northern section of beaches? Something must be done by this government now before our beaches literally disappear. It needs to be a priority. And one thing's for sure, it's very clear that this is not a priority for this Labor government.